Well, I was very satisfied with the results uh, in working with Tom. I think we set out an objective and we accomplished it. And it was it was definitely a lot of work. Um, however, I think it was as smooth as possible. Uh, and I think Tom was as communicative as possible and, and really helped facilitate at every step. So in terms of the quality of the buyers that were presented to us by Tom throughout the process, they were all excellent candidates to work with in, in the future of our, our company and the acquisition that we wanted to entertain. And the ultimate buyer of our business was one that we could not have been happier with. I would say Tom was very helpful throughout the entire process. He was involved the entire time as much as needed, whenever needed, uh, with pretty much no limitations. Um, and his responsiveness in particular was just like excellent throughout the entire process. So A plus on that. I think that our favorite part of the process was the initial uh, interviews with the different buyers, learning about them and what they thought of us as a business, as well as like thinking about what the vision was and then being able to select from a qualified pool of buyers versus just one person um, to where it really felt like we had some decision making to do. Um, and part of that is because our business is, is pretty awesome, patting ourselves on the back, but um, also because we just, I, th I feel that Tom did the right research and connected us with the right people and told the right story about the brand. Less so about selling and more so about um, taking chips off the table and having a strategic partnership. And so we, we found the right people who were interested in that combination of things that we were, we were looking for. And so it was a perfect fit. We found website closers through a referral uh, of a mutual friend. We chose website closers because I felt that Tom had the right combination of experience in our marketplace connections and understanding of our business to really help us to achieve our goals. I think he helped us to have um, the presentation of the business uh, most accurate in terms of what was going to be needed uh, in order to sell the story of the brand and relay it to a buyer to get us the correct valuations. I think it's really important to use a broker because if you're negotiating directly with the uh, buying party, if you are selling a business, you will find yourself in a situation where the relationship doesn't start off on the right foot. And I think it can probably sabotage it from the beginning versus having the broker be on your side, but kind of also be an independent person who can speak to the realities of, of both parties needs and make it to where it's not about, you know, any kind of negotiation per se between the parties, but more so about just finding the right value proposition for both parties. I think sellers should focus on the broker who works in their space um, when it comes to selling a business and someone who has some level of experience with their, if not their exact industry, at least their vertical like e-commerce so that, you know, they'll have the connections with different buyers and at least the credibility to speak on it. I think as, as a broker in, in the business sales space, it's important to be able to refer back to previous success and connecting like early stage businesses with investment groups. Um, we did have uh, obstacles to overcome in the closing process, uh, including different paperwork that was needed or deadlines and a lot of different people having to be involved in the, the decision making from both our side and the buyer side. And I think he really helped to navigate that and keep everyone on track to work towards the close. Uh, when it comes to selling a business, you should make sure that you've checked off the boxes that you know um, someone would be looking for as a buyer in terms of like stability in the business, um, the financials being in the proper order, your sales channels being dialed in. Basically, put yourself in their shoes and look at the weaknesses that they would point out um, if you were them. You know, you, you, as a as a business owner, you know the weaknesses of your business better than other people will, and you should work on readying those up and shoring up those deficiencies prior to engaging in that process. It feels great. Um, in a couple months in, like we're, we couldn't be happier. We're, we're continuously working on improving the business and continuing to level it up. And we are still extremely involved and will be for the foreseeable future. Um, but we, we couldn't be happier with how it ended up.